Hey YouTubers, just had a moment. Thought I would uh, give you guys an update on the deck garden and how it's going. Um, granted, I have a very small growing space, but I'm just working on theory here until I get a larger place. Um, so basically, the composting tomato planters are working great. Uh, even in this weather where I've had friends who complain that their tomato plants are only a foot tall. <laughs> my tomato plants are about three feet tall or so. Uh, well, at least the, that one is. The other one is a little shorter. It's a different variety. That's a cherry over there. The one that's closer is sort of like a plum tomato. Um, the experiment of... Uh, planting alfalfa to fix nitrogen in the surface the soil surface uh, seems to be going very well I have a uh, little cucumber a little stunted cucumber plant right over there that is uh, really short and uh, it basically popped up about two months ago and did nothing <laughs> but then I planted uh, I planted some alfalfa around it and uh, now it's growing. I don't know if it's coincidence or if it's uh, or if the alfalfa plants are fixing nitrogen, which are which is already benefiting the cucumber plant. Um, but basically, it's growing. <laughs> um, over here, I got a couple of strawberry plants, like right there, and uh, they were going really slow. They just sat there. <laughs> now that now it's growing a little bit. Um, that's my fallow uh, lettuce uh, container. I threw some alfalfa in there as well. This is my productive alfalfa, I mean uh, salad container. That's a big bunch of romaine lettuce over there that has been going into my salad lately. Then I've got a, a number of varieties that are closer and interspersed with it all is uh, alfalfa. And what, it, what happens is when the alfalfa comes up over the lettuce um, by about maybe two inches or three. I've been chopping it down to uh, to basically uh, add nitrogen to the soil. The uh, alfalfa plants will then shed root mass and release nodules and thus release uh, releasing um, uh, nitrogen in the soil. And the tops, which I throw down on the surface of the soil, uh, that basically prevents or decreases evaporation and it uh, also uh, breaks down and begins to break down and add nitrogen to the soil from the surface as well. Uh, this planter on the side, on the end here, I think is pretty much exhausted. Um, I think I will dig that one out and replace it with a garden soil or uh, maybe some kind of uh, What's that brand of uh, miracle Gross potting mix, maybe? But, um, but basically, and then I'll throw a cover crop of alfalfa on it throughout the winter. Um, so I'll show you, give you some close-ups here. Here's our tomatoes. A little cucumber plant. Alfalfa. Yeah. So basically, um, that planter there is providing a good deal of salad for me. Um, the kitchen scraps, which I would otherwise just throw away, go right into these two comp these two bins uh, and grow my tomatoes. I think I may have covered the fact that uh, tomatoes are able to metabolize really very little uh, ac compost that is actually hardly broke down at all, if at all. They seem to be able to explode with growth on uh, on what kind of compost that might very well kill a normal plant. I'm not sure how they do that, but that appears to be what ha what is being done. I've heard of a 
Chinese tomato ring. That's where I got the idea. But uh, and I heard about that in the book uh, uh, One Second After. Um, it's a novel about an EMP. But anyway, in the EMP, they just mentioned in passage the Chinese tomato ring. That's what gave me the idea three years ago or two or three years ago of making these planters. So basically, they are working very, very well, and I'm quite happy. So I guess that's about it. That's my update. Uh, I think that as the summer progresses and it gets warmer, I'm going to allow the alfalfa plants to grow up above the, uh, the lettuce plants and then provide, and then hopefully the alfalfa plants will provide partial shade or sort of like spotty broken shade for the lettuce plants and that might uh, prevent them from being getting sun damaged and possibly bolting early and that way perhaps I might be able to have good salad out of that planter all the way up through fall and in theory uh, I also once it once it starts getting good and hot I might take that planter and set it down on the ground here so that it has partial shade and then uh, and then hopefully that would also prevent it from bolting so that's the plan um, I have alfalfa growing in this one right here the end one which is pretty much exhausted the soil but I think I don't know if I'll be able to bring it back that way uh, but I do think that uh, a cover crop of alfalfa will be able to uh, to cause it to uh, retain its nu nutrients or keep the nitrogen from being washed out of the soil by the rain and all that if it's totally covered because bare soil I've heard bare soil actually just the nitrogen in the soil actually evaporates due to bacterial actions and whatnot inside the soil and it breaks down to the point where the organic matter is drained down to practically nothing and then you have a bin full of sand <laughs> sand so uh, so basically if you have it going all the time with a cover crop like a bean a legume or an alfalfa thing some kind of nitrogen fixer then um, you'll have a better chance of keeping the soil productive that's the that's the theory and it seems to be working so far I, I have noticed a sharp increase in the speed at which my salad is growing over here since I threw the alfalfa in that might just be a change in the weather and it might be the alfalfa so hmm, no way of really knowing I don't think so um, yeah so there you are so I guess I'll let you guys go later